I'm going to press Control R on the um, in Photoshop. All right, and you want to be sure that your image fits within an 800 by 600 image plane. All right, and so let's go start putting rulers on there. So I'm going to go ahead and just click one of the rulers right here, and I'm going to put some vertical guides. And I'm going to go up here to the top ruler. I'm going to click, and I'm going to left click, and I'm going to drag, and I'm going to do that one more time. And the reason that, that I'm doing this is because uh, in a few moments here we're going to have um, Photoshop generate these as slices right here. All right, It's going to generate um, an HTML table and it's going to put each one of these images into um, little uh, table data. And uh, let's go ahead and, and do that right now. So, say, so once we have our grid lines in place what you want to do is you want to go up here to this tool right here. This is your slice tool. And you want to click it. Okay, after you click it, you want to go up here to the properties palette, right up here at the very top. And you want to click that little button right there called slices from guides. All right, when you click that button, you'll see that the grid that you had made will generate these slices. Okay, so, so each slice is numbered. Okay, accordingly. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to combine these slices so that um, instead of having nine images, I'm just going to work with one. Let's see. I'm going to combine these into one image, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to have five images instead of nine. Uh, it's just easier to maintain. And so if I ever have to update this page later on, I could just change out one image instead of, um, you know, changing all of the pictures again. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Um, grab these slices right here and I'm going to turn them into one slice. So to do that I'm going to go to slice number one. Oh actually let's go switch the tool here. You're going to go to the slice tool and you want to go to the slice select tool. There you go. So I'm going to press shift and I'm going to select the first slice and with the shift button selected or pressed I'm going to go over to that slice and slice number three. So if you look all the slices are highlighted yellow. I'm going to right click anywhere in that area and I'm going to choose this. Combine slices. There you go. So now it's one slice. I'm going to keep this as three slices right here because we are going to change this um, image right here, okay, with our Vimeo embed code. And I'm going to go down here to slice number five. I'm going to press shift. I'm going to select that. I'm going to press and shift select slice six and slice seven. Right click and I'm gonna choose combine slices. So now we have one slice, two, three, four, five slices. We're basically ready to go. Let's go ahead and generate an HTML page. Let's have Photoshop generate an HTML page. And to do that, you're gonna go to File, Save for Web and Devices. All right, and for the images, I'm going to choose JPEG, and we're gonna switch it to Medium. Seems to be the best solution at this point and we're gonna click save and we're gonna put this on our desktop and right here under save as type we want Photoshop to generate the HTML and to turn all those images into JPEGs okay so you want to have both of those alright if you look at this drop down menu you could have Photoshop just generate just the images or just the HTML code but we wanted to do both so we want to select that and we're gonna choose all slices right there Okay, and we're going to change this right here. Let's change this to something that we'll recognize. So we'll 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 call this. Uh, n yeah, we'll we'll just call this index for right now. Click save. All right, and basically Photoshop's done. Look how fast that guy is. All right, so let's go ahead and close Photoshop. We won't be needing her anymore. And let's go ahead and find our index page on our desktop so here it is right here here is the HTML code that Photoshop generated and here are the images that it generated as well so if I click that images folder you'll see that Photoshop generated it sliced each one of those images and it turned each of those images into a JPEG exactly what we want alright so nice and simple if you double click this it'll open up a web browser link there you go okay so we have our web page now here's the HTML page and we have all our images in there okay so nice and simple so now let's go ahead and Im embed the uh, let me see I don't want to close that just yet let me go
do this. And so now here we are on Vimeo. Okay, uh, Vimeo is great. It's like YouTube if you've never heard it before, but I really like it a lot. All right, I think the compression quality is a little bit better, um, and I like the movies that they have on here too. So here's a movie from Dennis Wheatley, and if I click this video, if I click this icon right here, one of the great things about um, the compression of Vimeo is I like the sound capabilities and I love the full feature capability, the full screen capability uh, when you press this button right here. It looks really good. Okay, so let's go grab the embed code for this movie right here. So if I click this guy right here, and YouTube has the same type of feature. If you click the embed embed code button, you'll get similar code that looks like this. So real quick, um, the dimensions of our movie are 400 by 295. So I'm going to go ahead and select all that code. I'm going to press Control C to copy that code. All right, and I'm just going to close this window real quick, and let's go ahead and open up um, Dreamweaver. Uh oh, press pause. All right, here we go. So I'm going to open up that index page. I'm going to go to File, Open. Let's go to the desktop. Let's grab that index page. Boom, just like that. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click this little body tag right here, and I'm going to center my layout. I'm going to put my cursor right there and I'm going to press shift enter to drop it a few lines so that it looks better. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this image right here, this 400 by 295 pixel placeholder, which is actually a JPEG. And I'm going to put my um, Vimeo embed code right into this image right here. So the easiest way to do that is to number one, select the image. And you can tell that it's selected because it's going to have like these handles that appear around it right there. Okay, so I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to go over here to the upper left hand corner of the screen. I'm going to press code, this code button. And this, and this is another way of looking at that HTML page. All right, so if you look, this image that I selected is highlighted blue in the code. All right, so if you look at these tags right here, the table data tags, okay, you have the opening table data tag, and then you have the closing t table data tag, which is denoted by like a backslash right there, okay? And so the thing that's in blue is actually the, the code for the image. All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to de press delete, and we're going to delete that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control V to paste that Vimeo embed code in there. All right, so now it looks something like this. Okay, so now we're back here in Dreamweaver. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get rid of this code right here. So I'm going to highlight it. So similar to how we um, selected that picture right here, this placeholder, I'm going to go over to the code. So I highlighted that line. I'm going to go over to the code. There it is right there. And so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. I'm actually going to remove everything right here. It's going to add a little bit onto that right here. So here is the actual um, hyperlink. So I'm going to grab right here from the break tag all the way down to the end table data tag. Okay. So if you look for the backslash object and the break tag, you want to start your Put your cursor right there. You want to select everything to the backslash table data tag. And I'm going to press backspace. And let's go look at the design. Yep, there it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and preview an Internet Explorer. Save changes to index. Click yes. Let's go check this out. And let's go allow block content. So now there goes our video. It's playing right on our image. All right. So, hey, this is Randolph DiMolanto. Hopefully this uh, tutorial was helpful to you. Um, let me know how you do. Happy New Year and best of luck in all you do. This is Randolph.